Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. Uh, now, I don't know if you've been keeping in touch with what we've been doing uh, in the last month or so, but we started doing online wine tastings and very popular they proved to be. What we do is we partner with a wine merchant and we get the wine merchant to deliver a set of wines to, uh, to a customer uh, and then we do a presentation for them. They've got the wines at home, I've got the wines at home and we're all sitting there uh, talking into our computers and having a generally good time. And um, we've got a session coming up next week, so it's Thursday night now. So a week tonight, we are, it, what time is it now? It's quarter past eight. So yeah, in, in uh, at this time next week, I will be in the middle of uh, uh, doing a session on possibly Spain's greatest white wine region. Uh, we're in the Rioch Baixas region of, uh, of Galicia in, in, the, in the northwest. It's the home of Albarino. If you've ever had Spanish Albarino, chances are, or like 99% of the chances are, uh, that it would have come from there. Uh, so I'm going to taste one here and uh, encourage you and hopefully whet your appetite for it. But the other thing I'm going to do is... Um, I don't know if this is a problem or an issue. We don't have problems now, we have issues. Uh, what, we're, what we're saying to, the, the, to the, the people who come along on the tastings, open some bottles of wine and we'll taste through them. And then we give them good tips on how to keep those bottles in good condition for the next few days. We have a strong feeling, however, that some of those bottles do not last uh, for the next few days. They are consumed uh, sooner rather than later, let's just put it that way. What do you do in that sort of situation? Step forward, Corobin. I don't know if you've come across the, the Corobin uh, system before. What it allows you to do is take a glass of wine from a bottle without pulling the cork. And so if you have a look at these two identical bottles of wine, um, they are identical apart from two differences that, that are visible. Uh, you can see from the tops, so I don't know if you can see from there, I've got, I've got a photograph, I'll flash up. And you might also be able to see from the level uh, that the one in my left hand, it's got a little hole in the top. And it's also, uh, the, the level has gone down a little bit. That little hole has been made by a needle uh, that is in this device called a corobin. Um, and a corobin, this bit here, it's got a uh, cylinder of argon gas in. And you, well, the easiest thing is to demonstrate. I'll just put the full one to one side. And um, I lift this bit up. So this bit here in, in coming down, that's a long needle, which is gonna go through the, uh, uh, the capsule uh, of, of the bottle. So I put it on there, and this lever here injects gas. You just sort of clean it out for a little bit to start with. So give it a little fizz, and then plunge. And it goes straight through into the bottle. And then when it's down at, the, at its uh, that down there, maybe give it another little to prime it, and uh, and then I can just tip, tip it to forty five degrees, and press the lever, and wine flows into my glass, and I can have as much much or as little as I like. Um, if it's uh, if the um, the gas starts running out, then I maybe press a little bit more and. Uh, uh, and the, the wine flows in again. Well, I better let this, uh, well, this is a rather healthy measure. Maybe I'm gonna have to do a, a drinking rather than a tasting with this little bit, but it's no hardship when the wine's like this. Anyway, I will just uh, put it up right there and just give it another little press, because every so often you just give it a press just to be sure, to be sure, let's just put it that way. And then I pull it out and there we go. And now if you have a look, uh, you might see that there are uh, two little needle holes in the top of the bottle. Now I can put this bottle back on my shelf um, in, in my cellar and come back to it. Well, the, the owners reckon that if you use it, use the system well, uh, it can last months. Uh, it may be even years. They, they, it, I think it, it's been around for about five years or so and uh, it has not been having uh, little uh, adaptations to, to the system. But um, anyway, let's see what the wine is. The wine actually is um, from Rich Baixas, uh, from the Eau Rosal region, which is one of the subzones of uh, Rich Baixas, made by a winery called Terrascauda. And most of the wines from uh, uh, Rich Baixas are 100% Albarino, but um, a few of them have some other grapes in there. 
So this one has got a little bit of a grape called Caño Branco and another one called Lurera in. And let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Now, one of the characteristics I get coming through in oh, very strongly in quite a lot of um, Rioche Baixas wines, green banana. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes you get a, a hook on a particular wine. If I, if I notice green banana, chances are that Albarino is not going to be far, too far away. If I want to put Albarino into context of other wines, um, I think of maybe something that has uh, a little bit of the pungency of Sauvignon, a little bit of the aromatics and mineral tension of Riesling, and a little bit of the body of Semillon. So if you imagine like a, a triangle of those three grapes, Albarino sits in a very nice place in the middle. It's, the wines are good when they're young, but the good ones, and, and I've had old examples of this one in particular, uh, they, last, they last remarkably well, even though it, it, uh, often I think of it, its, it's best role is um, being a young seafood, seafood friendly wine. Anyway, let's have a taste. Yeah, brisk. There's this briskness mixed with richness. The finish is always fresh and it's got this stony character. It's got, it feels like it comes from a place rather than uh, uh, a wine factory. And there's a juiciness and it leaves your mouth sort of going, uh, as in, I want a little bit of, uh, I like some razor clams. Uh, and in the absence of razor clams, I want some sour cream and onion Pringles, uh, which I think would go rather nicely with that. Um, so, um, so I'm going to go away and enjoy the, the rest of this wine. Um, and uh, but I'm very happy, would be very happy if you could join me next Thursday to um, partake of some rich spicious wines. We put together uh, with a, a, wine, a wine shop called Vineyard, uh, which is in Hatch, Manche uh, Manch Hatch, Manchester. A goodie bag that's got some bottles of wine in, uh, but it's also got some nibbles in there. It's got some information on the area, and it's got a Rioche Baixas tote bag. Um, oh, and the Coravin. Um, well, all those who've been signing up for uh, our online courses, we've been sending them a special code. Because a device like this, it's not cheap. Um, and uh, there is something, uh, you can buy a basic Coravin just like this with some of the, the, the capsules in there. But you can buy a slightly more, um, not common, a, a larger system, which is called the Wine Educators Bundle, uh, in which you get a uh, the Coravin, complete with a stand, so it sits very nicely on there. Um, you get some uh, plenty of uh, these cylinders that go in. What else have I got here? Um, screw cap adapters. Now, these the Coravin works with um, uh, works best with wines which have got corks in. Um, uh, but if you uh, if you drink a lot of wines with screw caps and you want to tap into them from time to time, uh, what you do is you get you undo the normal screw cap, put one of these on, and it doesn't like the wines don't last un under that system as well as they do if they, if it's, a, it's got the cork in. But oh, you can you can enjoy your your wine over a month or so with that uh, with that in. Uh, what else is an aerator? Uh, there's a little something to clean the needle out. It's a good system, and uh, normally uh, this wine education bundle costs about 550 quid. But uh, we have a code where, for all those who sign up for our, one of our online tastings, we'll send you a code, and you'll be able to get it for ready 120 125 pounds 95. So massive reduction, um, and. Um, it's it it's, it's it revolutionises your wine drinking. It means that you don't have to uh, uh, just uh, on a Monday night you can just have a glass of wine. If there's two of you, you can have good different glasses of wine without opening uh, bottles. If there's two of you, you can have three different wines, four different wines over the course of an evening without breaking the bank. And you can come back to these bottles um, regularly. And uh, I, I haven't had my Coravin for long enough to. Uh, to work out if there is a time beyond which there's not really much point doing all the, this injecting when, the, when, when there's not much point really if there's that much left in the bottle you might as well pull the cork but um, it's a great invention and um, I'm using mine far more often than I thought um, which is probably a good thing I don't know whether it means I'm uh, drinking smaller amounts of wine or whether it means I'm having a normal bottle and then having a glass of something else later on anyway I will leave that for you to decide. Uh, but if you need any more information about the Riesch Baixas tasting, 
Um, drop us a line, info at manchesterwineschool.com. Uh, you can book through the website, manchesterwineschool.com. Um, and um, we'll see you next week, hopefully online, uh, by the power of Zoom. And um, we will enjoy some lovely Riesch Beisches wines together. See you soon. Thank you.